Hello fellow Star Trek fleet commanders, we're going to make this video short since it's the third time I've shot it now. I'll explain why I'm such a noob in the comments below if you're curious. But in this video we're going to cover the Spock bug as it's commonly referred to. The little known phenomena that all higher operations players that run lower operations players through armadas wish that you knew about. So this is the Spock bug explained. Here we go. So the first thing to know about the Spock bug is that it's not actually a bug at all, but rather appears to be a symptom of the way that the game calculates officer abilities that trigger off of a raw stat value, that's your health, defense, and attack values of all your officers. And it's not limited to Spock's officer ability, the shield regeneration at all. 5 of 11, 6 of 11, Beverly Crusher, all the other officers that work in armadas and trigger off of a raw stat value seem to have the same bug, if you will. The second thing to keep in mind is that this really only comes into play when you are running armadas, because it's the only time that you have several players, several ships, and therefore several crews on the same team attacking one target. And as such, multiple officers and crews are involved, calculating all that boring behind the scenes arithmetic to figure out what happens when the armada timer finally resolves. Specifically, you'll see this if you've got a mix of lower and higher operations players. In this one behind me over here, you see a level 49 player as well as a level 36 player. Our level 49 operations player here is of course bringing a extremely common crew for these exchange armadas, Leslie Kirk Spock. You'll see the host of this armada here is a lower operations player compared to the other player and is also running Spock. So this is a situation where you could run into this manifesting. Let's go look at what the third player in this armada has. So here we see 5 of 11, 6 of 11, and Khan. So very important here, we've got multiple copies of the same officer in this armada. So here's what will happen because of this and I've got some battle logs we'll go jump to right afterwards but I will show you first off the armada queue here is extremely important when you go click on the armada size the leader of the armada the person who called it is always the number one slot underneath that are your starred ships sorted by their power and then underneath that are unstarred ships sorted by power so if you see in here right now you've got a level 41 then a 49 then a 36 what's going to happen is that level 41 player is running spock when this armada resolves that spock is going to be taken into consideration whatever defense value that top leader has if they're using Spock, the game will take a snapshot and then every other instance of Spock that shows up, whether it's that player's or someone else's, will calculate off of that same defense value. It doesn't affect when you're blowing up hostiles and all that stuff because it's just you on your own, but for some reason this is the way the game calculates it and that is why this is referred to as the Spock bug and why a lot of higher operations players will ask you not to bring Spock if you're hosting an armada and they're going to run you through it is because they're used to a much higher defense stat than what you can put out at your operations level and they kind of depend on that to go ahead and keep the shield regeneration up for their ships. So this might end kind of poorly. We'll be around a little bit to see how that goes. And we also noticed that they are also running 5 of 11 as captain. 5 of 11 will trigger off of the health bonus of the crew. So this 5 of 11 and Spock, the health and the defense off of this ship are what's going to be snapshotted, if you will, and applied to both of the other ships because they're both running copies of these same officers. I know, it sounds really far-fetched, but we're going to go jump into some logs here in a second after this resolves. So taking a look over here, let's see how this goes. Hey, all right, that didn't go too horribly, but that Operations Level 49 player did take a lot more damage. That's probably because they were calculating off of this other player's Spock. It doesn't necessarily destroy your armada, but you will take a heftier repair bill than you thought you would. Sometimes it can destroy an armada if you're not careful if a much lower operations level player is hosting and does not know that this phenomena occurs in the background. One other thing I will mention really quickly before we go dive into those battle logs is that I will not be using the awesome tool that my friends Stewie Doo and Lube have provided on the Star Trek Fleet Command Officer Tool Discord server. They have their new battle log tool out. Funny story, I'm the only person on the planet that does not have access to the actual channel that you go download that sheet from and I haven't reached out to them to go ahead and correct that yet. So instead, we're just going to throw the logs into Spock's Club. We'll go ahead and toss them up side by side. So give me one second. I'll pull them both up. All right, I'll go ahead and get me out of the way for you. What we see here on the left-hand side is the first round through this armada with myself, Executioner Gut, and Exterminator Rux on a level 40 exchange bank. On the right-hand side, we also attack a level 40 exchange bank. Same three players, much different results. Keep in mind when you're looking at this, this is from the armada 
Armada's perspective for some reason, so the defeat means that we won, the victory means that it beat us. Swapping to the battle summary on each one of these, we can see the crew, whereas Leslie, Kirk, Spock on Rux's ship both times. My buddy Gut mixed it up the first time he had a PvP hull breach crew with Lorca and Tilly. The second time he brought a more Armada focused Beverly Crusher wharf crew, but it did not have that big of an impact. The big difference was that instead of myself hosting it, Rux hosted it. Let me come down here real quick and we will slide to the right so we can see my crew was identical. For some reason it didn't come over correctly, but my crew was identical. I ran the Leslie Kirk Spock crew as well on my ship. We can see if we scroll down how many rounds this operations level 49 player was alive the first time when I hosted with my Leslie Kirk Spock. She was only alive for 19 rounds in combat versus 55 rounds when she was the one going first. Now, to help accentuate this, I made sure that I ran only Leslie Kirk Spock. I had no other officers below deck, so I had the smallest defense stat that I could put out with that crew. Rux, on the other hand, had hers built the way that she would for any normal armada with the maximum amount of defense. So scrolling to the right on both of these real quick, we can see that my ship only took seven shots the first time before it was destroyed, and it handled 20 shots the second time before it was destroyed. Yeah, I didn't live through this armada, but I still got the loot which was nice, but this can really be seen if we switch to this damage done tab. We can see that the first armada that we ran, our operations level 49 player here was only able to put out 103 million damage versus 245 million the second time. And this is even bigger if we switch to the damage taken screen. We can see that the first time around, we all blew up. Her ship was only taking almost 11 million damage. The second time around, we beat it pretty handily and she was able to take 33, almost 33 and a half million damage and everything worked out fine for us because we were triggering off of that much larger defense stat instead of my very tiny defense stat that I had intentionally placed on my Stella. The good news is now that you know about this method of calculation or bug, however you want to look at it, you will be able to leverage this to either prevent you from wiping or at least having an unnecessarily high repair cost. If you are in a situation lucky enough to have a much higher operations player run you through some bigger armadas than you would usually be able to hit at that stage in the game, or knowing how that turn order is calculated and that we do have some influence over that by starring certain ships. If we are coordinating our armadas the way that we're supposed to, you can actually go ahead and stack the same crews and last a lot longer in an armada than you otherwise would be able to if you are bringing, say, Kirk Spock Khan to a armada and a much higher operations level player has that higher above you in the turn order, then you will be calculating off of their defense stat. However, it will be only your rank of Spock that you will get that shield applied. So keep that in mind as well. But that is the Spock bug explained with a somewhat extreme example. Had you heard of the Spock bug before watching this video? If so, did you know how it worked? And have you been spreading the word to try to help make sure that players understand why it's a bad idea to bring Spock or another officer that triggers off of that raw stat when you have a much higher operations player running you through with that same officer in an armada? You will probably want to go ahead and share this video regardless to spread awareness of this because you might not actually be that bad at crewing for the armada. You might have everything perfect and without this other variable accounted for, the way that it actually calculates that ability, then that could be undermining all your hard work. Make sure you're still doing your due diligence while you're putting together your armada crews, even if somebody much higher operations level is trying to run you through an armada, and know that they are not trying to haze you or anything if they ask you not to bring Spock or another officer to the armada that you are hosting. They're just aware of this strange method of calculation and don't want it to backfire on you and waste those armada directives that you put up to call that armada to begin with. So don't forget to leave a like, subscribe please if you haven't already. We're very close to the thousand member threshold to this community, which is amazing. Thank you guys very much for that. That is all for now. Fleet Commanders, live long and prosper, and we'll catch you next time.